Hey everybody, welcome back to Desert Family Homestead. My name's Pam, and I'm your host today on a garden tour here in the desert, the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. What you're looking at is a raised bed that my brother made for me a long time ago, and I decided to experiment with potatoes in it. Drug it in here this year with help of my son, and you can see two of the potatoes. What I did was I went ahead and put a layer of, of soil in the box, and then planted my potatoes and then once they all started growing and sprouting real well I filled it in with more because you're supposed to get a second layer of potatoes that way and as you can see there's one that's already out and that one that was the very first one that sprouted so if that one doesn't produce like it's supposed to I'm not surprised but there are tons of more potato plants in there that are sprouted got another potato right there and then those are still onions left over from last fall it's just been harvesting them this bed is full of okra i have red and green okra in here and right there is honeydew there are also onions i just plant my onions wherever i have space for them and if you look at that that's a volunteer tomato i've got them coming up everywhere so I have a marigold and carrots in that pot, and basil in that one. There is more okra. This is a jalapeno, and those three are peppers, and the one here, has I discovered yesterday, has three peppers on it. And back here, there's a bunch of little volunteer tomato plants. In with my okra. This bed here still has onions from last fall. Just pulled a few this morning and I've got uh, four rows of beets planted right in here. There is another marigold and there's a couple of little tomato plants in there also. My Swiss chard. This is a yellow cherry tomato and it's getting loaded up with blossoms. That is my Cherokee purple. There are a couple of potato plants in this one, as you can tell. There is also, like right there, around the perimeter, those are radishes. And I did plant zucchini in there, but it did not come up. And right in there, more tomatoes. They are just full. Carrots, carrots, dill, and cilantro. And look at the corn. It is growing like crazy. And there's also tomatoes in there too. But those two tires I was where I had my cherry tomato plants last year. I have still some onions coming from last year. And I have pickling cucumbers that I replanted because they've never sprouted. Older seeds. Chocolate mint. My lettuces. And I have planted some more. There's spinach. This is part of the asparagus bed. Oh, there's the whole asparagus bed there and these up here those are my sunflowers and I have another one across over there so I've got 11 of the 12 that I planted that came up strawberries and there is one right there rhubarb didn't sprout who knows cantaloupe this is a red pear tomato and if you can see, got a couple of tomatoes that are almost ready. And there's others coming up on there and blossoms too. The chives, they're so fine, still not really visible on the camera. This is another marigold, and then that's a pickling cucumber, and I've got a couple more planted in there also that I replanted, so they should be sprouting up. Finally, got all my garlic harvested. And I planted corn in here, so I'll have two tires of corn. See how it works. A better view of all my sunflowers. Lemon cucumbers, they are growing like crazy, which is good. This was from an old drying rack that belonged to my mother-in-law. My husband found the bits and pieces of it, and he says, can you use this? And I said, trellis. So this is slicing and muncher coupons, uh, coupons, cucumbers. 
and then still a few onions left from last season. So I had to replant those again because they older seeds, they just didn't sprout and come up. Can I get it in one camera frame? That's my yellow squash. That was, yeah. It is full of squash. It has lots of blossoms on it. As you can see, all those blossoms down in there. And there's a couple that are going to be ready anytime. Another marigold. And for those of you wondering, marigolds are for pests to help repel them. And then if we come down in here, those are black diamond watermelons. Yum, yum. And then I have two potato plants growing in this bed also. One right here. Oops. Shadow. And then there's one over there. And you can kind of sort of see the leaves of it sticking out of the squash. One. Two. Three. Four. Those are my San Marzanos. Tomatoes. Doing great. And there is my regular mint. It is doing great too. So these are starting to get some blossoms on them. They're growing nice and big. I do think that I'm gonna, a couple of them, I'm gonna go in and trim some branches off just because they're so full. But yeah, they're doing great. And the garden's doing really, really well. It's helped that we have not been really, really hot yet but we have hit a hundred a few times and look another tomato plant coming up in my asparagus bed and that's the extension now remember i went by asparagus this year i divided pretty much all of my plants so i've only been harvesting from a few of them and that would be a couple back in here that i didn't divide so next year i'll divide these up and they'll help fill in over here some more and then I can but then but next year I'll be harvesting out of pretty much the whole entire bed but that's the garden so far today's May what is today May 13th May 14th May 14th my son says so 2021 not doing too bad for getting a late start on planting my garden but it's just growing and I've been hard like I said I've been harvesting onions and um, looking to start harvesting my yellow squash so it's starting to feed us and the chickens are laying well and doing well so there's a few of them <laughs> and there's mr. Clyde back there still haven't gotten him a new Bonnie yet but I will be Keep gardening and God bless.